My name is Nicole and welcome back or welcome if you are new to the week's nest for today's video I have some more Dollar Tree Valentine's DIYs for you my last Valentine's Day Crafting video. I don't really decorate for Valentine's Day But I do enjoy sharing some ideas for those of you who do decorate for Valentine's and this video is a collab with Wendy from White Sparrow Living Luke 12 6 if you do not know who Wendy is I will leave her channel down in the description box. Definitely go check her out. She is so sweet, inspiring, and just so, so talented, and I genuinely love her channel. So definitely go check out her channel and see what she came up with for our collab. And if you are stopping by for Wendy's channel, hello and welcome. My name is Nicole, and I would love to have you hit that subscribe button and join my Week's Nest family for more inspiration, DIYs, crafting, all on a budget. Let's get into today's video. Okay, so the first project is going to be a red enamel tag sign. For this project, I'll be using this tag sign from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using the back. I picked this up after Christmas and got it half off, so I got it for 50 cents. Now, the tag was super difficult to get off, even using like that blow dryer technique that I've seen other crafters do. Usually it glides off, but sometimes not all Dollar Tree signs are made equal. So I had to take my Cricut scraper and just carefully scrape off the tag and any extra residue that was left. I also cut off the red ribbon that was hanging this picture. Going in with my Folk Art White Cottage Chalk Paint, I'm going to go ahead and give this two coats. Um, you can use any sign from Dollar Tree. I personally just love when Dollar Tree has these like tag signs as well as the pendant signs which I used in a recent DIY which I can link down below. It was another Valentine's Day project. This will be like I said in my intro, my last Valentine's Day DIY video. I really don't decorate for Valentine's Day. I do enjoy crafting for it, so I don't want to like bombard my channel with a ton of Valentine's Day stuff. And on this day, I was impatient, so I used my blow dryer in between coats and then went ahead and did the second coat of the white paint. Let me know down in the comments if you have a blow dryer in your craft room or craft area. For me, it is just essential on cutting down the drying time. I will be using my Cricut for this sign. I am using glossy vinyl, a black and a red, both from Arteza. I'm really enjoying their vinyl and I like that it comes on a sheet. And I'll be cutting this with my Cricut Maker. My parents completely surprised me with this for Christmas and I'm absolutely loving it. And I like that I can hold my phone or my iPad on that little like indent which my Cricut Explorer, which I also have, does not do. So I can't wait to kind of do all the other projects that the Cricut Maker can do. And recently I did some Cricut beginner friendly project ideas and kind of tips and trick videos, which I can also link down below. But I love weeding vinyl on the mat. I find that it's just so much easier. And I also saw on Pinterest recently, if you use this Dollar Tree food chopper and scraper, it's great to apply vinyl and I have the little Cricut scraper which I like but I like for a dollar I can go to Dollar Tree and be able to cover way more of whatever decal I'm applying so I'm actually really enjoying this um, it looks really obnoxious I know as I'm using it but it works great and this decal says let all that you do be done in love this will be available in my Etsy shop, which I just reopened and I can link down in the description box. It's the week's nest, just like it is here on YouTube, but no spaces in between the words. Etsy wouldn't let me add spaces, so I didn't. Um, and if you don't have a Cricut, there are just so many ways that you can apply fonts or images. You can transfer it with a pencil and color it in with a paint pen. Um, you could Mod Podge an image, you can freehand, just so many options. You don't have to feel like you need a Cricut to achieve nice font looks on your projects. Also, Dollar Tree has great stickers you can use. So there are so many different, or even stencils. There's just so many different ways. So don't feel like if you see a Cricut that you are like out of the project and can't do it. I'm using it because I have it and I enjoy it. But before I had my Cricut, and even while I still have my Cricut, I use other ways of transferring images and fonts. So I am taking Arteza's Crimson Red Acrylic Paint. 
and with a flat thin paintbrush I'm giving this that kind of like farmhouse enamel look but instead of the black and white which I absolutely love figured it'd be nice to do it with red for Valentine's Day so I am just outlining the sign with that crimson red paint using very little on my paintbrush and then I just went ahead and did very light dry brushing with the rest of the paint that was on my brush I did not re-dip now to hang this, I will be repurposing a recent DIY that I did. It was a winter trash to treasure, and that was a collab with April Adair Shares. So I am going to go ahead and take these wood bead tassel with the bottle brush Christmas tree that I made, took some of the beads off, just looped through this tassel. It's just wood beads with a Hobby Lobby tassel knob and attached it to the top of the sign where the hole was that originally had the red ribbon. Now to kind of cover up where I made that knot, I'm gonna take one of the Dollar Tree wood stickers in the hearts. I'm gonna take an unfinished heart and just trim back first that extra um, cotton twine and then I'm going to hot glue that unfinished heart right on top of the top of the tassel. This comes with like a matte red, a matte pink, sparkly pink and red and unfinished but I was kind of digging the way that the unfinished heart looked against like the white and the red and let me know down in the comments if you like sometimes adding unfinished wood also to your projects. So once I had that on, I decided to trim the tassel a little bit because I realized it was going over the font. And that is it to this project. I really like the way that it came out. It's definitely appropriate for Valentine's Day, but depending on the color choice that you do, if you want this in the spring or year round, maybe I would opt out of using the red, but it's super simple and it's a great piece for Valentine's and transitioning into spring or your everyday farmhouse decor. And this decal will be available in my Etsy shop if you are interested. I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking cause you're holding it back. Moving on to the next project, it'll be a galvanized heart candlestick. Super easy, I'm gonna repurpose another project. I repurpose projects all the time. It's just such a great way to save money. I feel like it just kind of tests my creativity a little bit. So taking these two black candlesticks that you could tell I definitely had a fun time with my hot glue gun with, I'm going to flip them upside down and hot glue them together. I'm just kind of going over the hot glue that was there. Um, the reason I didn't scrape off the hot glue is you're going to see in a second. I'm going to cover those glue lines anyway. If I was not covering them, then I would really carefully scrape and probably have to repaint the candlesticks, but I didn't have to do that with this project. So I got this burlap ribbon on clearance after Christmas from Dollar General. It was $3 originally. I got it for like a dollar and change and since it's really wide I don't need it that wide I just kind of eyeball measured how wide of a piece I would need to cover the glue lines and wrap around where I connected the two candlesticks and once I had that cut I hot glued that and applied the burlap around now the burlap's gonna kind of almost give you like a like a lamp shade if that makes sense um, effect meaning that it's not going to be flush to the candlestick but that's fine it almost kind of looks like a skirt I guess is more what I'm trying to say not a lampshade I don't know why I said that um, but that's fine that's kind of look I was going for and I feel like it kind of adds a little bit of like a shabby chic look to this and then just to really finish this off I'm going to take from a Dollar Tree Valentine's Day sign I had a little bit of difficulty getting this heart off, so be careful because it is a little bit sharp. So I took my kind of like scraper and was able to get it off, but just do it carefully because I almost cut my finger. And then I'm just going to hot glue that where the hot glue was that was attached in the sign and press that in the middle of where I wrapped the burlap. Super easy. This can easily be transitioned again to a spring piece. Since I don't really decorate for Valentine's Day, I'm always kind of thinking of how I can transition this to either be a permanent staple in my home or for the next season and you can easily leave the heart if you like that do without it i like that it's galvanized it's not like super valentine's day -y to me so super simple reused some dollar tree 
items that I used in a previous DIY and I love the way that this turned out. The next project is going to be an upcycle of the Target Dollar Spot ceramic houses. So I have had this for two years. I got this around Christmas time two years ago. And what inspired me was on the Kirkland's website, I saw this really cute, I think it's a ceramic house that says love lives here. And I knew I'd be able to recreate it with something I already had and I've had in my craft stash for a while. So I just flipped this around because I found that the front of it just didn't give me enough space to either write or apply a decal. And with the Dollar Tree paint pen, which this is their crafter square paint pen, I'm really impressed with this. It works so well, it's super pigmented, and I actually prefer this over the one that I was using from Walmart. So I spelt Love Lives here, and then going back in with that Arteza Crimson Red paint, I'm just gonna highlight the door and the bottom of this house. At first, I was gonna use the same brush that I used in the first project, which was that tag sign. But the bristles were really, really stiff and I just wasn't finding, as you could see here, that it was letting the paint go. So I just took a foam brush. I only dipped the paint on the edge of the brush so that I didn't get a really thick line. I outlined the doorway as well as the bottom of the house. Now I recently saw on Belinda's DIYs that she repurposed Dollar Tree houses that had sayings on them and she added some pink, which was super cute. And I have not seen those houses at my Dollar Tree, but they're very similar to these houses from the Target Dollar Spot. So I just added another one of those wood stickers. I hot glued it so it stayed on better. And I chose to do the red sparkly one just to have a pop against the white. Again, I was able to repurpose something that I already had in my craft stash and I'm already thinking for Easter time, I may repurpose some of the other ceramic houses that I have in my craft stash. So look out for that. I'm already so excited to do spring and Easter DIYs. I just can't wait. Okay, so if you stood around this long, I have two bonus DIYs for you. They're more just like kind of really quick and easy ideas. I'm using this small canvas from Hobby Lobby. I think Dollar Tree has small canvases. You can even use like a small sign that you have, whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna flip this over to give a reverse canvas look and going in with my Waverly Antique Wax, I'm gonna give that frame like a faux stained look. So really easy, just gonna use that. And I'm really enjoying the antique wax. Um, I've seen so many DIYers use this and my Walmart never had it in stock until recently. So I was excited to get it. I really like the way that it gives that stain look without like the smell and the mess. So I'm enjoying this. And then going in with one of the Dollar Tree larger red sparkly hot hearts, not hots, hearts. <laughs> I am going to hot glue that right in the middle of the canvas. This is great for tiered tray decor just a small accent piece and it's a great way to kind of flip over a sign you may have and just add a little seasonal touch to it. And then I lost the footage for this, but another way to use those galvanized hearts is just to hot glue it on a dowel and like stick it in a little planter. Super cute. And again, it's a great transition into spring decor, which I cannot wait for. So I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. I hope they gave you some inspiration for your home on a budget. And if you're stopping by from Wendy's channel, hello and welcome. I would love if you would consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my Weeks Nest family. And after you watch this video, don't forget to check out Wendy's DIYs. You will not be disappointed. She is so talented. I love her channel. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Say hi in the comments. And if you enjoy my content, don't forget to share it. That really helps my channel out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.